Hey guys, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and uh, tonight I'm going to take a look at a tool uh, from Symantec that actually is on your um, Norton Internet Security 2011 disk or Norton Antivirus 2011 disk and that's called the Norton Bootable uh, Removal Tool. And uh, what I have is a virtual machine here that's so infected that uh, it just it won't boot. I've let it go for about an hour and it just uh, just will not boot at all. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Norton disk. I just bought a copy of Norton Internet Security 2011, um, mainly so I could demo demo this. And uh, I have a few computers right here I could actually put it on. So. Um, so anyway, I've got the disk in my CD-ROM. Gonna go ahead and uh, power on my computer. And what I want to do is stop my computer from booting. I want to get into my BIOS and select a boot device. Hopefully that did it. If you miss it, like I did there, you'll have to start. You'll have to shut down your computer. Um, power back on again. And when, on my computer, I have to hit Escape. And what that does is it brings up a boot menu. Um, if you have a Dell, <clears throat> a lot of people have Dells, you'd have to do like a uh, F12, um, HPs, sometimes they're like F10, F11. Usually it's the function key to actually access your, your boot menu um, or your BIOS so you can set up your boot menu. Um, so anyway, here's uh, my CD-ROM drive. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I'm just using my arrows to mouse up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and start the CD or DVD, whatever it is. And it is starting. It does take a really long time to start. I don't know if that's just um, VMware or that's how it is always. So um, while that's starting, I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video. Oh, and before I pause the video, I'll go ahead and say that I got a new, uh, bought a new sound card and got a new mic. It's one of those um, big old professional type mics, so I don't know if this will be too loud or whatever. So let me know how it is. You can just leave a comment. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, once this thing finally boots up, uh, this is the screen you see right here. It says Norton Bootable Recovery Tool. It's got a variety of languages, and you can select English, hit OK. Um, kind of has this background here for a second. And you, it's kind of annoying, but you have to put in your product key. So um, I'll pause it while I put in my product key. Okay, um, so now after I put in my product key, you can see that uh, I'm on the little interface for the recovery tool, and there's a scan option, there's an undo option. Um, if you're looking for a way to update it, you won't actually see anything that kind of stands out. You have an advanced menu, we can launch a command prompt if you want to. Uh, you've got help and about. Um, but what I discovered because I just you know started using this tool this week just for the purpose of this demo is if you hit start scan um, it will automatically go out and update those um, definitions so you see virus definitions they're current of like last year at this time so right now it says updating protection definitions and that can take a few minutes and um, while that's going I'll pause the video okay and you can see after it updates the um, virus definitions you can see it's current as of April 6 2011 it automatically starts scanning the system um, and right now it's scanned 3584 items and this scan can take a really, really long time, at least on my uh, virtual machine. It goes longer than an hour. So 
So I'm gonna let this go ahead and scan and I'll come back to it later on tonight and uh, we'll move on from here. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, it's actually been a few hours. Um, it seems like it gets uh, stalled out at 71,930. It was like that maybe two, three hours ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, set all actions to fix. It's already fixed the serious or the high infections. I'll say uh, fix everything. So after um, after this is finished, I can try to reboot the machine and see if I can log in. Now, I know from testing this out, this will this will probably say that this machine is not activated or it's an illegal copy or something like that. But it's not. I, I bought it at Best Buy. I think it's the malware that damages the activation. Uh, stuff inside Windows 7. So, anyway, I'll say done. I uh, detected 41 pretty hardcore items. And I, I want to reiterate that this CD is basically your install disk that comes with your copy of Norton. It'll be there on the 2012, 2013 version, all that good stuff. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on a second. I'm talking and I'm not paying attention. So, I'll go ahead and start it up now. And I'll avoid clicking uh, repair, hopefully. Yeah, okay, this time I'll start Windows normally. And um, it should, I'm guessing, start up in a few minutes. It's 11.01 .01 p.m. down here. So I'll pause it and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, it took about six minutes, seven minutes, so I would definitely venture to say that there's still uh, quite a bit of stuff on here. Because normally this boots up instantly if it's a clean machine. So the Norton uh, bootable uh, recovery tool, rescue tool, whatever you want to call it. It did rescue this machine. I'm able to boot into it now, um, but I'd still have quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, removal left to do. I'm I'm guessing um, where I would go from here next would be to load um, something like malware bytes. Uh, I'd load all kinds of on-demand scanners and just kind of give it a good run through. Um, probably start up in safe mode with networking and do all that there. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It says uh, Windows activation. It's expired. Just X out of it. Um, but nah, it's been activated. Um, and it was, like I said, a box copy from Best Buy. So, so I am kind of curious. If, this, if you want to, you know, stop watching the video now, that's fine. Um, you saw that the Norton uh, bootable re recovery tool actually did work. It did do its job. So, good stuff. Anyway, um, moving on, if I want to actually clean up this machine, I want to kind of continue the video and show you where I'd go from here. So, I've given this virtual machine uh, 3 gigs of RAM, so it should be pretty much plenty um, for this guy. Let's see if we can even get on the internet. Yeah, it's actually running all right, running decently speedy. Uh, let's go to File, Hippo. Uh, loads right up. And malware bytes. Download the latest version. Hmm. 
be kind of interesting to see what um, what it missed. I mean, so far I'm I'm pretty amazed. I, I was this thing was so infected it wouldn't even boot before. Yeah, I'm just using the uh, default install options. Yeah, it's able to update and everything. So uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, I'll do a quick scan, or actually I'll just do a full scan since I've got time. I'm off tomorrow, so that's why it's 11 o'clock and I'm doing a video. Normally this would never happen, so. Trying to get uh, this week's video out of the way and going to crank out another little how-to video. Um, possibly tomorrow or Saturday. I'll do one more check just to make sure. Okay. I'll do a full scan. Scan. C. Scan. And I'll uh, pause the video while it's doing that. Okay, that full scan completed, and as you can see, there's 29 items found. And if I click Show Results, um, quite a lot of stuff, serious stuff. Um, some of them are registry entries. Some are actual pieces of malware. And what I'll do is go ahead and say remove selected. And we'll go ahead and reboot. Okay, I'm booted back up and I got into uh, Internet Explorer here. And I'm just going to do a search for rootkit just, just to be sure. That, uh, I'm okay. I've already done an offline search with the Norton bootable uh, removal tool, uh, but we're going to do a TD SS killer. It's a little tool from Kaspersky. Since this is a 32 bit version of Windows 7 that I'm running, and we'll go ahead and click on that first link there takes us to uh, Kaspersky's site. And now I'll open up TDSS Killer. Do a run on it. The simple fact that I can actually get to the site uh, is a pretty good si sign that uh, I don't have a rootkit, but you never know for sure. start a scan so it's mainly gonna run through uh, system 32 drivers that's where uh, almost every root that I've ever seen is in um, you know you've got boot kits too where they're actually on the uh, the master boot record. I've never seen a BIOS rootkit yet. And I've never seen like a video RAM rootkit. So nothing found. Infection not found. So uh, that kind of wraps up this video. I'm pretty much bushed. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, whoops. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. So basically the Norton uh, bootable uh, removal tool, rescue tool, I don't even remember what it's called. Uh, it actually does a really good job and it, it comes with, you know, with your purchase of uh, Norton Internet Security or Antivirus 2011 and um, it's your, basically your install CD. So uh, that's it for this video. I'll talk to you guys later.